The Ocean's 100 Floors Here, there is a ship floating on the ocean. A girl holding a doll stands at the edge of the ship and tries to feed a seagull. But the seagull bumps the girl, and... The doll splashed into the ocean. Ah, Ten Chan! The doll's name is Ten Chan. Quickly, the doll sinks and sinks further into the ocean. The girl loves Ten Chan, and she was always doing fashion shows. Ten Chan really loved the clothes the girl gave her and all those accessories. Unfortunately, while sinking, all the things that Ten Chan had on, her hat, bag, necklace, bracelet, ribbon, jacket, scarf, shirt, shoes, and on top of that, her hair, all came off. Underneath all those bubbles are the otters. Oh, you scared me. Who are you, may I ask? I am Ten. Have you seen my clothes or my hat? I think I saw something going down earlier. Really? I'm going to swim down so I can find it. This house here has 100 levels, so good luck to you! Excuse me, miss. The bed that your baby is sleeping in is actually my hair. Is that right? I'm so sorry. In exchange, can you use seaweed instead? Well, your baby is sleeping, so... Okay, it will do. Ten Chan put the seaweed on her head and went through all ten floors. Hmm, who lives in this part of the building? Is this home to the dolphins? We have all different kinds of dolphin folk here on each floor. Isn't what she's wearing so cute? We just found it. The skirt's mine, but I have to say she looks so cute. In exchange, can you wear these silver scales instead? We have arrived at the 20th floor. All right, let's see who lives in the next floors. It's where the starfish live. That's my necklace. I've never seen anything like this before. Can I trade my star necklace for yours? We are in the middle of dancing. I want to dance too. We've arrived at the 30th floor. Who will we see next? The octopuses live here. Oh no, you made holes in my shirt. Oh, this was yours? I did think it looked funny. Okay, I will pick a shirt that'll fit you. It's a moray! Ah! I'm all black now! We have now passed the 40th floor. What will we see next? The seahorses live here! Oh! It's Seahorse Sumo! Ready, set, pull! Your shoes are perfect as my baby carrier. Can you have these instead? With these, I think I can swim faster. We have now entered the 50th floor. Okay, who will we see in the next set of floors? Here, we now entered the homes of the moray. Help me, don't eat me. Huh, you're not food. 
Okay, you can pass. Oh, what a nice swing! Wait, I think this is my purse. This is yours? Can you accept the shell purse instead? We are now on the 60th floor. Let's go to the next floor. What do we have here? Jellyfish! Welcome! Would you like some tea? You have very long arms! May I trade my crystal clear jacket for yours? Oh, it's beautiful. I feel like I'm a princess of the ocean. We have arrived at the 70th floor. Let's find out what is next. The ones that live here are the crabs. If you want to pass through here, you have to go through me. Rock, paper, scissors! I won! To thank you for your ribbon, I want you to have this. Thank you. From today, I'm a pirate too. 80th floor. What can possibly be next? This is home to the anglerfish. This bracelet is gorgeous. May I give you this instead? Wow, it's so bright and shiny. Pretty, it's a Christmas tree in the ocean. I'm putting on the decorations on with everyone. We are finally at the 90th floor. Okay, who will be in the next section? Here, we have the hermit crabs. Hello, um, have you seen my hat? Ah, I'm changing. Can you look the other way? Oh, I'm sorry. It's just my hat. I, I can't seem to find it. Oh, that was your hat? Try going to the hundredth floor. Now finally, the hundredth floor. Who was at the hundredth floor? It was a big hermit crab. Who are you? Why are you here? My name is Ten. I fell off a boat. And after my hair and clothes came off, I went through the ocean looking for them. There's only one more thing I haven't found. Have you seen my hat? Do you mean this one? Underneath the crab, on the sand, there sat Ten's hat. Yes, yes, that's my hat! I have to apologize, but I can't let you have it back. Huh, why not? As the hermit crab lifted the hat, a small crab popped out. I'm sorry, this little one loves this hat and won't let it go. I see, I understand. It's okay, you can have it. Take care of it, okay? Thank you very much. In exchange, I'd like to give you this. The mother hermit crab placed a beautiful shell on Ten's head. I wonder if I'll be able to return back to the girl on the ship. Don't worry, you will with the help of your ocean friends. Please trust us, we will help you all the way up. Behind Ten, she heard many voices. With the help of all her friends she had met along the way in her journey, they all helped her swim back up to the surface of the ocean. With tears rolling down her cheeks, the girl was scanning the waters for Ten. At that moment, Ten suddenly jumped out of the water. 
The girl hugged Ten and looked at the doll up and down. Ten, you've become so dazzling.